Well, there's a typical mistake that I see so many golfers make. Too hard, fast downhill putt, and on the low side as well. So if you're missing on the low side, the ball's gonna run away even further as it gathers speed down the hill. So we definitely need to read these putts better, realize that downhill fast putts are gonna break more. In fact, on any fast green, you're gonna really have to allow for more break if there is any at all. Occasionally you're gonna have a dead straight putt, but more often than not, you really are gonna have to aim for a lot of break. And the other big mistake there was just too long a swing. We saw a backswing there of around, I don't know, a foot long, I guess. And it doesn't seem to be an easy thing to do for a lot of golfers to shorten that swing. Let me give you an idea of what's possible. If I go really short backswing here, that's the amount of pressure that's possible. We see golfers say, oh, I ran it past, I only tapped it, I only just touched it. But clearly there's a big difference between what I just explained there and that one that's gone nearly 10 foot past. So some golfers hit these putts off the toe. I'm not a big fan of that. It's just a variable that you have to factor in and the putter can actually twist if you hit it off the toe as well. So I'm not a big fan of that. What I like to go through is a process of going to the side of a putt, going to the low side. So this is a left to right putt. So if I go to the low side, then I get a great 3D image of what the putt looks like. So we're reading the speed first. Everyone worries about reading the line, but you actually need to read the speed first because if the speed changes, then the line changes, the amount of break changes. But clearly speed being so, so important on these fast greens. If you can read the speed, get side on, remember low side, then you get this overall picture of what the putt's gonna do and how long the putt is and whether it's uphill or downhill. So this is, you can clearly see from here that it's a fast downhill left to right putt. And even from that side on view, I'm starting to get an idea of how much it's gonna break as well. Now I visualize where I want that ball to apex and come around. Now remember, your putt is gonna start breaking as soon as it leaves the face of the putter. So you have to allow for that plenty of swing. And as you're reading the putt, you've gotta visualize the ball coming into the top side. The golf ball, we don't want it to go into the front of the cup, the middle. We wanna come in on the top side. We've gotta visualize the ball entering the cup on that high side. And that's why a lot of golfers under read putts. They're not actually seeing the ball go into the correct middle of the hole, which is the, the top side here. So visualize that ball trickling down the hill and curving in and coming in this top side here. And that way you're gonna have much more of an idea of you know, the speed as well as the break. All right, one practice stroke, nice and short. That's all I need for this quick putt. And I'm well off to the left hand side. I've picked my spot. Nice soft hands, nice short stroke. And we can see that's very quick. All right, I've missed on the high side. You can see there the pace is key. Very short stroke, very soft hands. And, and so we can hold some of these. We're not just trying to lag it. Remember, we're trying to hold these. And the other thing that I see a lot of golfers do is that they have a deceleration motion on these quick greens. The backswing's too long and then they quit on it. And then some golfers have a very short backswing, yes, but then they accelerate through. Both of those are gonna be very tough to judge your distance control and inconsistent because you're relying on pressure and, and how much speed and how much effort you're hitting into the putt rather than just the length of the stroke to determine how far that putt goes. Thanks so much for watching. And we're really confident that if you do employ these principles, then you will have fewer putts on fast greens.